So you find that the MC equals the MR theme occurs a lot in economics. For example, when you're a consumer and you decide how many oranges to consume today, you will consume until your marginal benefit um, equals the marginal cost. And now we talk about benefit here because you're not earning revenue by consuming oranges. Instead, you're getting benefits. You will consume until your marginal benefit again equals your marginal cost. And that is commonsensical, well, not quite, because most of us think that we should consume until total cost equals the total benefit. But that simply means that you're not getting any additional benefits at all. You should instead consume where your marginal benefit equals to your marginal cost, where you're getting the most amount of um, additional benefits. So let's put this to a real example. If you're buying apples at $1 each, you should just keep consuming apples until the amount of happiness you get from an additional apple is only $1. And the total doesn't matter. So again, think about this. You're waiting for a bus and you've already waited for 10 minutes and many of you go like, oh, I've already waited for 10 minutes. I should probably not waste those 10 minutes I've already spent. But that's actually very irrational behavior in economics because those 10 minutes are what we call sunk costs in economics. You cannot retrieve it back. You should instead think about what an additional minute of waiting will give you in terms of benefits and what an additional minute of your life costs. And what is already spent doesn't matter. Only the additional quantity matters. And that in economics is called a marginalist principle.